What's up, Rage and Nation? How's it going? This is Alex here, and you're watching the Rage and Nation show. This is just Webster's. We're talking about all things matter in the world of upcoming films. In this episode, we're going to talk about the film adaptation of Assassin's Creed, Independence Day Resurgence, as well as the third installment to the Triple X franchise. Let's first start off by talking about Assassin's Creed. And you guys already know that Assassin's Creed is a film based off of the very popular video game franchise. And Ubisoft, New Regency, and also 20th Century Fox are making this film and they start filming it next Monday. And it is now that we finally have our very first promo image of Assassin's Creed. And it is of course none other than Michael Fassbender in full costume. Check this out. Here he is as an assassin and he looks the part. Check that out. That is a really sweet costume. I find it is very subtle. It's not your traditional white and red. Of course, you know, there were different uh, styles of costumes, but they're going for something a little bit more practical and that is dark colors. I mean, if you're going to be in stealth, you should go in dark colors. And there you can see the blades on his um, arms, on his forearms. And that looks really, really cool. And the most important thing is that he looks the part and he can play the part. All right. So Michael Fassbender is going to have to do some physical combat training, parkour training, as well as uh, knife handling skills. And of course, looking the part as long as he can pull that off which he does right now, I think that it will be good. Now, they also released a little bit of information about his character. First of all, I was really character about which character he's going to play. Uh, he's going to be playing Connor or Ezio or Altair. Well, looks like he's playing none of them. In all the games, they've been through different types of characters. There have been so many games and so many different characters. Of course, some of them were more dominant than others. But it looks like in the film, he's going to pl be playing none of those characters. He's going to be playing an original character made just for the film. And his name is Connor. Now here's the official um, uh, information from the studios. Through a revolutionary technology that unlocks his genetic memories, Calum Lynch, Michael Fassbender, experiences the adventures of his ancestor Aguilar in the 15th century Spain. Caleb discovers he is descended from a, a mysterious secret society, the Assassins, and amasses incredible knowledge and skills to make on the oppressive and powerful Templar organization in present day. So there you have it. This is our official look at Michael Fassbender as Connor, I mean, or rather Caleb Lynch. And here he is. This is what he looks like. And Assassin's Creed comes out on December 21st. 2016. All right. Moving on, let's talk about something else that's going on over at 20th Century Fox and Independence Day Resurgence. The sequel to Independence Day, which came out in 1996, has finally wrapped filming. This is insane because I completely forgot that it was filming. I mean, we saw that um, that Independence Day live event, and that was just a bit of a kind of a silly press release or rather a press conference where they couldn't even tell us anything about the 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 film it was it was kind of dumb to be completely honest for that <laughs> press conference to take place because they couldn't tell us anything they told us really really vague and general stuff but they couldn't even tell us anything Roland Emmerich was there to even shut up the actors if they said too much he was be like <laughs> And, you know, from that point on, after that event, I didn't even know that they were filming and where. So, it's kind of funny to know that they already, they've already wrapped filming because, like, I think a lot of people already forgot about it. Now, the, the funny thing is that I'm really curious about, or rather, not a funny thing, but the interesting thing that I'm curious about is that this film, the, I mean, rather, the original film made a lot of money. It made a huge amount of money because it was the first film of its kind to really make such uh, like a huge impact in Hollywood like it was a grand epic you know a film at the time when you look back at it you know there are other bigger films now but at the time it it made 300 million dollars domestically and I don't even know how much more it made worldwide but it was a huge amount I'm curious does anybody care at this point I mean I mean 20 years later like uh after the original Independence Day no Will Smith 
Uh, you know what? It's an alien invasion movie. You know, the aliens are coming back for revenge. So, uh, uh, do, <laughs> does, I mean, I'm going to go watch it. All right. But I don't even know if it's going to make, um, a huge impact as it did, as the original did. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. It wrapped up filming and a lot of people didn't even know it was filming. A lot of people don't even know there's even a sequel. So, um, I think they better get their marketing on. <laughs> But without Will Smith, I think that might hurt the film a bit. Anyways, moving on, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the XXX franchise. I didn't even know there was a franchise to begin with. I mean, they had two films, and but the last film was back in 2005, which totally bombed, both financially and critically. But now uh, uh, Sony Pictures um, and uh, Columbia TriStar, they want to bring it back. 10 years later after this the sequel which bombed they want to bring it back but you know what's what what can make this work the fact that they're bringing back Vin Diesel because they're following the uh the 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 Fast and Furious model and that is you have Vin Diesel appear in the first one you have him not appear in the second one you have him make a cameo in the third one and then you have him appear in the fourth one which was a huge success for for the for the Fast and Furious franchise, I mean for the studios. So in a way, they're kind of doing the same thing. You know, you have them appear in the first one, you have them not appear in the second one, and then after such a long wait, ten years later, you have them appear in the third one. And I think a lot of people don't even know that when this comes out, and whenever it comes out, they don't even know that there was a there were previous ones that came out ten years ago. So. I mean, let's look back in time. I mean, the first Triple X was directed by uh, Rob Cohen, who directed the first Fast and Furious film, and that was back in 2002, and it made a lot of money. It was a 70 million dollar, uh, 70 million dollar production, and it made 277 million dollars worldwide. I mean, that is a success. All right, essentially they quadrupled their budget. Okay, and it got mixed reviews, but films like this, you know, they they always get mixed reviews. It's a summer action film, okay? What do you expect? And then in 2005, they came out with Triple X State of Union. Vin Diesel was not back. Instead, they got to Ice Cube, and it's directed by Lee Tomahori. And it only made $71 million worldwide against a $113 million budget, which means that it was a box office bomb. The global, uh, uh, the worldwide, or rather the international box office couldn't even make up what it failed for in the uh, domestic market. And to top things off, it was also a critical bomb. Like, it was just reviewed very, very poorly. And um, it was just a crappy film. <laughs> and I'll bet that back then, Ice Cube wasn't solidified as a more um, a popular actor. I don't even know uh, how many more films he made, um, how many, like, films he made before Triple X State of Union to... Uh, uh, to get his name out there, but I'm, obviously it wasn't enough. So um, that is too bad. Now, ten years later, Vin Diesel just announced that Triple X Three, the third installment to this franchise, is coming back because they're going to be filming in December. They didn't even announce a director. I don't even know if they have a director. Maybe they do, and they will announce it shortly. But Vin Diesel announced that. Triple uh, X 3 is going to film in December. Did anybody even know that pre-production was going on for this film? <laughs> I think Vin Diesel is making his big comeback. Or rather, he's, well, he's not, he doesn't really need a comeback. But the fact is that he, he wants to uh, make sure that there's more franchise characters for him. Because the Riddick um, uh, trilogy is done with. Like, they're, they're really not bringing back that character anymore at all. But he's still going to be... Um, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, Dominic Toretto, and he's hopefully going to start off a new franchise with the the Last Witch Hunter. Uh, who knows how that's going to do? But he decided to revisit the Triple X character. So um, I think that he's looking to create, uh, or rather, inject new life into the franchise. Now, if they're going to be filming December, I I expect them to have, or rather, I'm going to assume that they're going to have a snowboarding sequence because you know December. Um, snow i mean there's snow all over parts of the world in other parts of the world and then if they're filming in december they're probably going to film for i'd say i don't know two months and then 
after that it's post-production and maybe they're going to get it ready in time for a December of 2016 release or a early to mid 2017 release okay so that's what's happening with triple x3 and out of all these films i'm only interested in assassin's creed that is the only one that feels that it has um serious potential independence day sequel did it really need a sequel <laughs> um triple x3 you know they're just kind of taking old material and trying to inject new life in it that works and but it doesn't always work, all right? You gotta have the right talent behind it before you can, before it can be an actual success. But anyways, that's all I gotta say in this video. As always, if you want to talk about anything that I, or rather share your opinion about anything that I've talked about, let me know about what you think in the comment section below. Do you wanna see Triple X3? How do you feel about Independence Day Resurgence? And, um, what do you think ultimately Assassin's Creed is going to be like? Do you think it's actually going to be good? Do you actually think that this is going to be a good video game movie in a long reputation of crappy video game movies? Is this movie going to make a difference? I think it is going to be that film. All right, I hope so. Anyways, uh, as always, if you enjoyed this film, I mean video, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation, and also follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation. My name is Alex. You thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Films, or rather, all three of these films, American Ultra, Long Kiss Goodnight, and Born Identity, are about a spy who doesn't remember that he's a spy. Okay.